The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day, mate. Welcome to Dyson Sphere program with me, Jetty. So you're probably here for the title of the video and you want to know is the game worth your hard-earned 20 bucks? And the TLDR is, yes, it very much is. Hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit the, that subscribe button on the way out. Thank you all for watching. Bye! So, for those of you who want to know more, I was lucky enough to get a press key from Gamer Again, the publisher, and I've already sunk at least 12 hours into the game, only after owning the game for 13 hours total, because, look, I honestly couldn't put it down. In fact, as soon as I finish editing this video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back for even more, and in fact, I'm actually going to be streaming it tonight, because it's release night, I'll be streaming it over on Twitch, that is twitch.tv slash jettyplays. Well, back to the topic at hand, what is DSP? Well, if you're like me and you only heard about it just a few weeks ago when it was in the Kickstarter phase, when I saw the release date was so soon after the Kickstarter, I was expecting more of a tech demo, nothing else for at least six months, but I'm sorry to say I was completely wrong. And what we have here is what I would call a complete game. Yes, sure, it's still in early access, there are still things to fix, but honestly, the complete guts of the game are here. So, what's the premise? Well, years in the future, like right after the Ready Player One movie finished, virtual reality has taken off. So, you as a space engineer have put in charge of a mech and have been flown out to another solar system with a mission to build a Dyson Sphere, a megastructure like no other, to power the newly developed AI that will push humanity into the next age. What is a Dyson Sphere, you might ask? It's a massive sphere of solar panels placed all around a sun that can capture all the power from that sun and beam it back to your planet to further your conquest of the galaxy. Yes, galaxy, you won't just be playing on one planet or even just inside your own solar system, but actually flying between planets and suns in the galaxy, exploiting many, many worlds. So how does DSP work? Well, your mecha starts off with almost no technology and only limited abilities. And through both research and automation, you will slowly build an empire. The game features many things in common with most automation games, mix of belts and production lines, but as the game is fully 3D, it will lead to some new and complicated production challenges. Spaghetti at your own risk. And don't forget, there will also be interplanetary logistic challenges to face as well. So, am I going to be rushed off my feet? Or do I get to sit back, relax, and enjoy this sort of game? DSP is a very laid back game, with the challenge being squarely aimed at production and research. There's always another bottleneck to find. There is an extensive tech tree unlocking both new buildings and recipes, as well as improving existing technology, as well as the mecha itself. Yep, you can upgrade the mecha. There are no enemies to deal with, and honestly, from what I've played so far, I don't think it would benefit from having them. The solar system is quite large and the galaxy is even larger but as i play more of the game maybe my thoughts on this will change no idea come back for the let's play with me to find out speaking of research and production lines because resources are limited as well as through research your assembly machines will get faster as will your transportation methods you will spend quite a bit of time rebuilding your production lines as the game progresses so don't worry if you made a bit of a mess to start with you will have time to fix it later or change recipes outright as you unlock better recipes and also find rare resource nodes on other planets oh my god jd I'm hovering over the buy button. What's the downside to this game? Well, firstly, it's on sale, only for a limited time. So maybe complete that purchase and then come back and watch whilst the download's in the background. So DSP, it, look, it has some flaws, okay? All early access games have some sort of flaws, and that's why they're in early access. There's things that are unfinished or improvement. In my opinion, and it is strictly my opinion, 
The main flaws I've seen with this game are actually quite easy to fix. Firstly, the game is being developed by a very, very small dev team in China. In fact, there's only actually five devs. And after seeing some limited live streams by the devs, English is definitely not their first language. Which means the translations, they're not perfect. Uh, they could all do with somebody who's a natural English speaker to go have a look at the translations, which I imagine, as with most most early access games will happen through the progress of the game and definitely before 1.0 hits. Secondly, the resources are limited on each planet and I don't know if this will be an issue or not. Honestly, set up, setting up resource extraction isn't as easy as it is in other games and I can imagine it would become quite frustrating in the long run to go off, visit another planet, come back and find out after 20, 30 hours, however long it happens to be, one of your main planets has dried up, has no more resources. The devs have sort of put in a fix for this. There is already an option when you start a new game to set the resources to be infinite. Although I haven't completely mined out any resource nodes yet, but I will actually be choosing this option for my Let's Play. Lastly, it is an early access game, so there are just things that are missing or incomplete at this stage. Hell, only in the last 24 hours, was a settings page added to look at and change the key bindings and the graphics menu well it's 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 very bare currently so the devs have a lot of work to do that i'm sure of and i expect as more people get their hands on the game more bugs will show up more balancing will be done and i also expect the devs will be adding more features to the game as it pro progresses unfortunately the devs haven't actually published a roadmap just yet so, my final thoughts. I expect for a $20 game, even if you just play it from start to once, you're going to get 100 hours of gameplay out of this game, if not more. Yes, if you just rush the Dyson Sphere, don't do too much exploring the galaxy, then you might get it down to 50 hours. I am going to do, be doing a Let's Play of DSP. Video should be posted in actually a couple of hours. Please, if you found this video helpful, click the like button. If you plan on watching the, the Let's Play, please comment below. And lastly, I invite you, if you're new here, click the subscribe button on the way out. As always, thank you for watching. Bye.